Hello everyone, I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to use Zoom. Zoom is a video conferencing software um, that is one of the more user-oriented and user-friendly video conferencing platforms. It allows us to see each other through our computers, but it also allows you to call in if you have only access to a telephone or if you're having computer troubles. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through getting connected to Zoom on your computer. We'll do a separate tech tutorial on how to get connected and use Zoom on your tablet, your iPad. So before you begin, you're going to need to do a few things. First, make sure you have a computer that can access the internet. Be close to your router or where the internet comes from, because the better signal, the better the experience. Number two, you want to download the Zoom software. So go to zoom.us slash download and that'll allow you to download the software. Once you have it downloaded, you don't need to do anything, but just have it pre-downloaded and ready to go. The third thing you need to do, make sure your computer is set up. This means that you've turned your speakers on, that um, you've plugged it into the power, and that kind of generally you're situated in where you want to have the meeting. So once you've got that all ready to go, what you need to do is access the Zoom link. And so that's the link that is going to take you to the meeting. So this will be sent by your group leader, or in the case of worship, we'll send it out in an email, or it'll be on our, um, our website. So if you have those things ready, you should be good to go. Most of us, when we're attending worship, we're going to have an email um, that is sent to us, and it's going to have the link to you that you should use to go and connect to worship. Now, if you're part of a group, your group leader is going to send you the link to connect to your opportunity. Um, in that invitation, you'll also see that there's um, a telephone number that you can call. And so we would call the 669 number, and then you would enter the meeting ID if you're just going to connect by telephone. But let's say we're going to connect through our computers. So we click the link here, the Zoom link. It's going to open up a new page, which is going to um, prompt us in one of two ways. If you don't have Zoom downloaded, it's going to prompt you to download Zoom. So a good, if you have Zoom downloaded, you would just go and click open Zoom or whatever notification pops up for you. So I'm going to hit open Zoom. What that's going to do is it's going to open up this interface. And so because there's no one else in the meeting, you're just seeing my profile picture. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through the different parts of the Zoom experience. So on the bottom side, you can see there's a little menu bar. So on the left hand side, there's a microphone that says mute. And so this is, um, if I click it, my microphone's going to stop picking up. Um, and so that looks like this. So now you can see there's an X through it. So if I was in a meeting, no one could hear me. The next one over here is your start video. So if I click this, see, now you can see me twice. I'm going to turn that off because that's kind of weird. Um, but that would allow you to be seen by other people. Now, if when you connect, no one can hear you, or you're not seeing your video when you click that button, go down to these little carrots, these little icons here. And if you click up, you can make sure that you're connecting to the right microphone or the right speaker. And you can even go in here to test speaker and microphone. You can do the same thing with your video. Now, if none of that's working, if you can see everything that's going on, but you just can't hear um, or people can't hear you, the best bet is to click here, this little carrot, and then hit switch to phone audio. It's going to then tell you what number to dial, what meeting ID to input, and then 
you should pick up your phone and call that, but remain on this line. Like re remain in your online meeting. So you can be on your phone, put it on speaker, put it down, and then you can watch the meeting and your phone will pick up your audio. So let's say we're in a meeting. Um, there's a few things that you should know how to do. So the first is, of course, muting and unmuting, which we can do over here. Um, the second is to open the chat. And so during the meeting, I can go and say, hi, everyone. And this will send a little notification to everyone. And so if someone had chatted, this will show a little notification. Um, if you ever need to leave, you can go down here and hit end meeting. So now someone else has joined the meeting. And when this happens, we see that our screen has shifted a little bit. So this is actually me. So I'm going to turn on the video. So again, you can see me over here. That's the other person. And then you can see, um, um, you can, it's as if you were seeing their video. So I'm going to turn that off just because that's a little bit trippy. And so what Zoom will do is it shows you in two different ways. Um, there's a few different ways it can show you the participants. If you go up to the right hand side, up to the top right hand side, there's going to be a little button. If I hit it right now in gallery mode, what it's going to do is it's going to show you everyone who's in the Zoom meeting. So you see there's um, the Foothills account with the picture of Gretchen and Carrie, and then there's me, my account right now. And so in gallery, it's going to show you everyone. In speaker mode, it's going to highlight the one person who is um, speaking. And so sometimes you might want to be in gallery mode to see everyone in your group, or sometimes you just want to focus on that one person who's speaking. So again, um, if this other account um, sends a chat, hi everyone, you see a little notification popped down here. The chat is something that we're going to use during worship, and so you should familiarize yourself with how to access it. Sometimes it can get hidden, and you're like, I don't know where it is. The best thing to do is just hit that chat button again. Now, sometimes uh, you might be asked to react. And so down here, you can click react and you can give yourself a thumbs up. You can see how in the top right hand corner, I now have a thumb up. So that's kind of your basics um, for getting connected. The biggest struggle that people have is using um, connecting in their microphone and their video. Again, if there are big struggles, um, I would suggest taking a deep breath, trying to reconfigure, and if it's not working, just pull out your phone, click for that number, and then you'll be able to access it.